Hello everyone and welcome to, well, my slot on the Festival of Rail event for Train Sim Classic. We're on Southwest China at high speed. Uh, so give on a driver, you will drive the train from Wusheng to Suning. Please head to Wusheng and pick up your passengers. So yeah, here we are, we're in one of the high speed trains. This doesn't look too high speed, this one, does it? It's like the, the, the massive bullet light front so it's like, almost like a commuter train but I mean this is a high speed train um, I assume it's a high speed train uh, so we've got to go to Wusheng uh, ooh, ooh. Um, which is in 1.7 kilometres so uh, absolutely no idea how we set this train up uh, so we shall sort of wing it um, reverse ok that's already set for us then Okay, it's fairly straightforward. There we go. What's the horn like? Oh. Actually sounds quite nice. Hope you can hear it alright. Oh, I'll tell oh they they flash. Okay. Flashy tails. So we got uh, oh we got interior as well. And see this it doesn't really feel like a high speed train. Like the sort of Aerodynamic of it, it's not. It looks such like a commuter train. <clears throat> Although I suppose high speed doesn't technically have to be 200 miles an hour. This could be, you know, like 125 miles an hour or something. Not actually particularly too sure. The top speed of this through. So it's in kilometres an hour. So it's a 90. What's that about? 60 miles an hour. About 50 minutes this scenario. Oh, what's that? Does that mean bad things? It buzzed. Oh, the brakes have come on. Oh no, they've come off now. Oh, okay, the 44. Okay, hang on. Oh, I see. So that's it. That's the speed limit. Okay, got it. So does that not show up on the HUD? Maybe. That's why the brakes come on, because we were going over 45. Okay, that's fairly clever. But yeah, I think when this festival of rail goes out, it's lining up with Chinese New Year. Um, or the Lunar New Year, I think it is. Uh, so, um, yeah, that's why we're... Dovetail very kindly given us a code to show off uh, a Chinese route. Uh, which we've, well never done before so it's it's a first for me doing one of these routes I think this route's also been out quite a while as well I remember seeing um, Squirrel uh, playing it back in what 2016 or so so it's, been, it's quite a oldish route but I don't know where we're meant to stop is there like a stop marker I'll just get right to the end. That'll probably be alright. Let's hope we don't overshoot. Okay, here we are. This is a Wusheng. Where did we come from? We... <laughs> Funny door sounds. Um, now we came from the side in there. So we're, we're there, okay, so, oh my, it's quite a, wow, didn't think it was sort of this, look at that, it's all the way over here, where's that, <laughs> where's that Suning, no, that's Cheng, Chengdu, so it's quite a network, look, it comes all the way out here, you've got some sort of massive loop, yeah, massive loop here, look, all of this, and then that then goes down to... Yeah, Chong Gong. So where are we going? Where's this? Where's Suning? So fifty minutes, and we're only going from okay, only you know, only from there to here. I mean, that's. I mean, can, imagine doing the whole route. That take quite a while. <laughs> Those door sounds are funny. Um, right. Uh, you will stop at Bamugo. 
Okay, but Moo go next. Let's go. We've got a double yellow. Full whack. So we've got a 90 color. Well, that's basically where we've started already. So what is the I mean, yeah, it's southwest China high speed. So, okay, 160. 100 miles an hour. But I thought 125 was high speed. I suppose it's fast. Well, that's one of the, um, I suppose, cool things about China. Is their high speed, their rail network is like mental. I think, yeah, 2008 or so. No, before 2008. What was it the Olympics in China in 2008? I think, yeah. Uh, before that, they had, you know, like, no high speed railways. And now they've got, like, the most in the world. Actually, everywhere there's a high speed line. It's not actually a bad looking route. I mean, there's a lot of 2D trees. <laughs> yeah, very visibly 2D, but um, it's not too bad. Nice uh, skybox to it. I'd like to get up to 160. I've got a flashing. Oh, if I see red on there, I'll start worrying. Is that like a distance graph there? Oh, what's that? Monitor on or off? Well, let's keep it on. That's what we're going to save us. So I'm just having a little look around the cab to see what all these bits and bobs do. So we're now at 100 miles an hour. What's that there? Oh, that's the combined handle. Start up. Emergency break, we might need that. Okay, well, we're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. It doesn't even look that fast, does it? <clears throat> I suppose it's only 100 miles an hour at the end of the day. I'm assuming it will probably go up once we get onto here. The silent whiz. Hope that's not a red light for us. No, we're, we're good. Okay, is it going to speed up once we get onto here? I mean, surely it is. <clears throat> Unless it is just 100 miles an hour. Which I thought 125 was high speed. <clears throat> Must go up, surely. I mean, this is surely more than one, 160. Although there is another train, I think, on this DLC. Yeah, I think there's like another one which is a bit more of a bullet. Uh, so maybe in that one you can go um, a bit faster. But this one was, well, this was about 50 minutes. This scenario was perfect. So maybe that one's a slightly um, faster one. But yeah, this doesn't. Well, I mean, it's still got a bit of aerodynamicness to it, but it does more look like some sort of commuter train. <clears throat> maybe we'll see the other one as we go along. Actually, I think there is another one. A steep bit going down here. See, high speed lines was just anywhere in the world are so impressive. Like, sort of all the massive viaducts and. Um, is that a road? There's a road over there, yeah. All the massive viaducts and massive tunnels. It's like. Wow. Especially on um, Castle Versberg on Trainsome World. That is just mental. Some of the bridges on there. It's like, how? Got a cab light we have, but we'll get it off because we shouldn't really have it on. <clears throat> right, as long as we don't see a wreck, we're alright. So we're still at 100 miles an hour. There's our. Oh, you've got one of the. Uh... Yeah, one of the speed things in there. It would be quite cool seeing that on UK trains. Maybe the long distance ones, not the commute ones. I would basically always just say 30 miles an hour. <coughs> so instead of going round the river, we're just going to go literally right the way for it. What are we trying up with? Is that another high speed line? What are we trying up to now? What's that? <coughs> Was that that same one? Oh, that's another one which is joined up. Okay. 
Oh, it's, it's not happy. Look, we're going. Uh, um, uh, oh, it's 250. There we go, 250. Okay, that is high speed. But this train, though, is not really. I mean, it looks like a commuter train. <clears throat> if I saw this train, I wouldn't be able oh, That's a high speed train. Oh. Oh, there's another one. No, it's a double one. Cool. Got a green light now as well. Okay, well, let's get that up. Is there a cruise control? There is advanced. Oh, advanced cruise control. It's a bit fancy, isn't it? A wiper. All the bits and bobs here. Get a little thing with Bobby, whatever this is here. Is that Panto? Yeah, Panto Graph. Okay, cool. Well, we'll try the cruise control. I don't think we're advanced enough to do the advanced cruise control. We've got 45 coming up. That's um, okay. Oh, is that a countdown to it? Oh, that's how many kilometres, yeah. I see. I'm working it out, see? I'm working it out. Let's just click that. Okay, yeah, right, that does. Okay, good. Yes, yeah, so that's a countdown. So I wonder if it's going to be a bit like ETCS where the, that will start coming down <clears throat> sort of within the braking curve. Or is this meant to be the braking curve here? It's pretty cool though. Let's take that off. So yeah, everything to start. Well, that's gone yellow. So is that like, yeah, start braking now? Well, we'll start putting on the brakes. <coughs> We've got, yeah, the flashing double yellow. So, uh, let's start off. I mean, five kilometers at 240 kilometers an hour isn't very long. Oh, and the brakes aren't brilliant either. Should be alright though, we've left it a decent amount of time. So you could very easily just do this route like that. You really do not need the hardest, everything you need is here. But we'll keep it on there. So I'm guessing we're coming up to Bagmu. Yeah. <coughs> that is what we're coming up to. Only two kilometres until the 45, which would well, be perfectly down for. Uh, but yeah, big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us uh, this slot on the Train Sim Classic uh, day. Let's support this is the third festival of rail, which uh, I've been involved in. Yeah, already, wow. Uh, that's gone quick. That means a bit quicker. Still going a bit, they'll probably get the emergency brakes coming on soon. Oh, I've still got a bit of time actually. Yeah, it doesn't seem to come down, so I suppose it's just basically driver's discretion of what you know, what speed they're going up to the uh, 45. Although I'd imagine some of these signals, they probably they're meant to indicate what speed you're meant to go. <coughs> Obviously, we don't know the signalling, so so that's now a single yellow. That might mean you know 40 or something at 45. There it is there. Uh, is that the station? Yeah, it looks like we're coming onto a little loop bit of track. Yeah, the speed doesn't seem to show on the HUD though, so you have to use that screen. First stop, which looks like it's in the middle, absolutely nowhere. Exxon Blavance 2. That's the thing with high speed stations, they're never really within the um, 
place they're named after, are they? And we're sort of just outside of town. <coughs> or like Aix en Provence, miles away. Oh, we've got another train passing us. Yeah, green light on that side. We got a red light coming up. Maybe that'll be the bullet train. Well, we are within the platform, but. Oh, oh, hello. It buzzed us. Last time it did that, it got really angry with us. Let's just come to a stop here. Then we know we're alright. Ready, Electro Star. Engaged. There we are. Oh, where's that other train? What's that? Can I see a little speck of something coming out? Yeah. Oh, was that? Is that the high speed one or is that the same one? Yeah, that's a different one, I think. Yeah, that's got a different headlight cluster. Well, actually, it might not do. I don't know. What is it? What's coming? It's going at a bloody good speed. <coughs> no, I think it is the same train. Is it? I'm sort of just looking at the headlights. Yeah, I think it is the same one, yeah. What, oh, mate? There goes the, uh, the express. Where's that one going? Does it tell us? Uh, no, it's just service free. <coughs> oh. That one's now long gone. So, wait, what's the next station? Next station is Peng Chi. 77 kilometers away. Wow. Although, saying that, at the speed we're going, probably won't take that long. 100 kilometers to soon in. Yeah, it probably won't take yeah, too long at 250 kilometers an hour. So where's that on the map? Let's have a look. Are we... Oh, uh, let's have a look. So we've still got to go up here. So that is... Oh, that's all the way over there. Okay, that's quite a distance then. And sort of from there, it's not that far to Sooning. So this is, this is like the long gap. Now, let's just save the game just in case. We've got double yellow now. And we'll begin the uh, the long stretch over to uh, Peng Chi. Which is scheduled to take us here yeah, about 35 minutes. Next up is Peng Chi. <coughs> right. Here we go. That sounds double yet. Yeah, the best bit better not be red. There you go. Sounds quite nice on the outside. And we're off. Into a really long tunnel. Look at this. Start speeding that up to 250 again. I'm guessing that probably does say Peng Chi on there, but in Chinese. views there. Cool. So what it will be, basically get the 250, cruise control one, chill out. Almost out of the tunnel. Yeah, high speed though, it's not too bad, are they? And we had quite a few on train sim world, didn't we? We had um, Southeastern, Castle Versper, Cone Arkham, which is sort of half a high speed line, half not. Um, but yeah, I don't think we've had one in a, a little while. I suppose, I don't know, what do you guys prefer? High speed lines or just sort of normal lines? I suppose that's the thing about high speed lines, they're very exciting, you know, 250, you know, up to what, TGV, what, 320 kilometres an hour. 
but then you're not really doing much. Yeah, you get up to 250, whack the cruise control on, and that's it. And if it's like Castle Versberg, it's up to what, 270? <coughs> Stick the LZB on, it just drives for you. So they're, they're cool, but then at the same time, they're like, you know, what, what am I doing? I'm just sitting here not doing much. I think I probably do prefer classic lines. Right, we get the uh, cruise control on. <coughs> I think it's on. Yeah, must be, yeah. Still following that train. Oh, we want the green light now. But we are still following it. <coughs> so it was 77 kilometres, and it is now. Wow, that's gone really quick. Just done what eight kilometers in a matter of seconds, well, a couple of minutes. Another really long tunnel, which is still sort of rendering in. <coughs> Do need to keep an eye on those signals though. Is that train ahead of us? We don't really want to bump into it, or ideally not. Well, hopefully, that will be going the same speed as us, so we should hopefully be okay. We're going to bang on 250. Well, the HUD says 250, the train says 249. I really hope that doesn't change to a single yellow. <coughs> Just stay as a flashing double yellow, whatever that means. Maybe it's similar to the UK. So, no, we have a, a double yellow, then a single yellow, then a red, so <coughs> maybe it is. This tunnel goes on forever. A never ending tunnel. So, it's sort of rendering in ahead of us. Crazy. Right, still a flashing double yellow. Good. <clears throat> the thing is, there actually seems to be colour signals on this route. Well, you still get the end cap signaling, but you can see the colour aspects. Oh, the tunnel's almost ended. Look how fast that signal's approaching. Just absolutely flying. I was in China, you might as well just take the train. Who needs planes? Get on the train, it'll get you there and just as you know, just as fast. Right, almost out of the tunnel, and then we go into another tunnel just after. Oh, whoa. I keep thinking that's our train, must be that train slowing down for the uh, for the other station. Let's get a um, a little flyby shot on a massive uh, viaduct. Where's train? Train, right there. There it goes. Cool, let's get back in. <coughs> get the HUD on. How far now? Let's have a look. 57 kilometers away. I mean, we're going to get there. I mean, what was it? Oh, 38. I thought it was 48. Okay, yeah, 20 minutes. We'll probably get there early. Although it depends. So we might stop somewhere or the speed limit might come down. So we've got to go sort of up to that junction, so it might slow right down there. <coughs> cool. And I think this DLC might be from Just Trains. I know they've done a lot of um, China Railways bits and bobs. I could be wrong. I don't think it's from Dovetail though. Bit penchy. Wonder if it's a popular route this one. I don't know, is there a big Chinese audience on uh, Train Sim? I 
I'm a massive. Look at this. It's quite nice down there. Love the colours of the route, they're very just bright. Brightly coloured. Sort of industrial or whatever that is down over there. I thought it was residential probably. Then to another massive tunnel. we go that's uh, how fast we come down in kilometers so slip 49 or <laughs> what it was like last time we checked which was only about a minute ago it was 57 look how fast that comes down wow I think we're gonna be there before 10 um 10 38 although saying that it might slow down because yeah if we keep going as we are at the moment we're going to be there you know really soon and we are still following that other train by the looks of things so maybe that will stop and then we have to stop and we get held up behind it might be what's going to happen have to wait and see it. So we've got a bit of a roller coaster ride coming up. Gradients sort of up, down, up, down. <coughs> Absolutely mental some of these um, bridges. Let's get a, um, a little cheeky screenshot. There we go, and watch it go past as well. Nice. Get that back on. Look how steep this is down here. And everyone down there, wave as you go past. Oh, another train there. <coughs> Have a double set. Yeah, I think there's a few Chinese routes in the game. There's this one, there's another one, and there's also like a classic line as well, which has like a like a DBBR 185 or 187 looking locomotive. So it's not it's not just this route. There are a couple of others. You are into your high speed sort of Asian slash Chinese content. <coughs> oh, hang on, we got a single. God, we got a single yellow. I noticed that. Wait a minute, we need to start slowing down. Right, just save the game just, just in case. Have oh, we got a 90 coming up? <laughs> Completely missed that. <coughs> I guess that'll be for the, um, the curve, which you saw on the map. Let's start slowing it. Luckily, gravity's on our side. There we are, we're all good. No panic, no need to panic. So it must be coming up then fairly soon. Let's have a look. <coughs> yeah, so we're up here now, and then we're going to be going off round here. The Datching Langyu something pass. Yeah, like a big motorway junction. Oh, hello. Whoa. Buzz, buzz. Oh, yeah. Let's put that down. It's actually just like a big train set. <laughs> A really, yeah, massive viaduct <coughs> sort of junction. <coughs> now what? Look at this. It's that spaghetti junction, but for trains. It's mental. Absolutely mental. 
It's like next level. <laughs> oh my god, we need to slow down. We'll get angry with us. What's that mean? Oh, that's what it means we're speeding. You're speeding, how dare you. Okay, round we go. I mean, this is real as well. It's like... <laughs> crazy. Right, in China, they can probably build this really quickly and really cheaply. And probably to a fairly good standard. Here in the UK, HS2. Don't know where to start. Don't know where to go. <laughs> I suppose rules and regulations are very different. So, right back up to 250. <coughs> that one goes off over there to somewhere. Probably up over there. It's quite laughable though. I mean, yeah, you see kind of Japan, China, with these massive high speed lines which they construct really quickly. Even Europe. They got high speed lines all over the plot, all over the shop. And new ones being built, you know, quite yeah, you know, all the time. And then just the UK, it's like, yeah. HS one, brilliant, HS two, dunno. Where shall we go? Where shall we end? Oh we'll cut that back. Oh, we don't need that bit anymore. Right, back up to two fifty. 12 minutes to go, 30, what's that, 20 miles? Just, yeah, 12 minutes, 20 miles. Normal. That's been a nice run, though. I just hope it's not going to be too long. That's, that's not been. It's only been, what, half hour? And we've only got 54 kilometres to go, uh, which just says uh, about 22 minutes. It will be about 50 minutes. So I suppose what we can do, uh, once we finish the journey, we'll just just to kill a bit of time. We'll go out and I'll show you what scenarios you get and what trains you get, just to fill in a couple more minutes. Right, cruise control is, I think it's on. No, I don't think it is on. Well, let's pop back down. Now it's on. Right, there you go. 248 again. Or 247. Oh, there you go, 248. They're both in sync. So, no, no, we're speeding at the cruise control. Do you think? Put the brakes on. There you go, absolutely flying again. Yeah, it's not a bad route. I mean, it's, as I said, it's a fairly old route in the game. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. Scenery wise. And I assume this will be part of the sale, so yeah, if you are interested, um, let's give it a go. Still at 250. Plus 250. 250 is 155 miles an hour. Yeah, because Colin Arkin on TSW, that's 250. And yeah, that's about 150. I think it's 155 miles an hour. Yeah, so high speed. And we've only got about nine minutes until we're doing to Pen Chi. Just saying we're gonna get there at 36, so only in seven minutes. So we'll be there a little bit early. That sort of big town there. Makes you think what sort is there like a what serves those towns? Or do we literally just completely bypass them? Like, bye bye. 
Is there like an old railway down there or something? Must be. Yeah, something over there. Maybe that, oh, that's a road. Look how high up we are, though. It's like, where do you even begin? <laughs> yeah, planning this. Oh, we just got like a massive, massive viaduct, which is, you know, 100 metres tall or whatever, just right across the valley. I mean, crazy. Really mental. I don't know how long this took to build. <laughs> probably not very long. Well, probably a bit, bit of time, but... Wow. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, that's even higher, isn't it? Yeah, just doing your farm down. Oh, my God, that's just mental. Look, doing your farm down here. Look up right in the sky up by the sun. Oh, there's a train all the way up there. Right, let's have a look. So we are now 14 kilometres away. Still saying we're going to get there for 36 past. Look at that, on time. Two minutes early. Into the next tunnel. There we go. We're in. Yeah, yeah, once once we finish this we'll come out and I'll show you what you get with the route. Otherwise it's gonna be only be literally fifty minutes. Lots of blue coaches must be the uh, cheap blue coaches everywhere. Tons of them about. There's another one, look, two racing each other. Blue coaches galore. Oh, hello, we've got 45 coming up in nine, eight kilometers. So we don't need to worry yet. But fairly soon we'll start. I guess that will be for, yeah, the Peng Chi. Which I think I'm probably pronouncing that correctly. Peng Chi. So once we get to about five kilometers, we'll start. Getting those brakes on. Well, they are going down here as well, so that's going to have a negative impact. Five kilometers, right? Let's start slowing down now. Yeah, we've got like a double yellow coming up, so. Probably another train behind us, just gonna whiz past. Let's have a look. Okay, no, there isn't. Seems like every other train's a double. I want a double set. There you go, I think we've timed that quite nicely. Four kilometres, slowing down quite nicely at the moment. Should be down, well, in, um, in good time. Is it going to be a big station, a little station? What's it going to be like? I think it was a fairly big station, actually. Oh, not really. Maybe the other one's soon, maybe that's a big station. So that's the station that's on the track map, then. We're only two kilometres. Oh, there it is. Might slow down a bit early then. Brakes are alright. They're not too shabby. Down even more. One kilometre now. Well, 1.8. But it doesn't seem to do the uh, point. As they come down to 45. 
capital 36 password during that sign me up Saying that, I'd probably rather drive commuter commuter trains in high speed. Oh, yeah, buzz buzz, popping that down. Oh yeah, we are a little bit quick actually. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> a bit more time. There we are. Perfect. Bang on again. Got a nice station, this one coming up. Looks like we already have the um, signal to go through. Oh, this is Peng Chi. That was really quick, wasn't it, from um, that last stop? Didn't feel that long at all. It's like a big greenhouse. Any sort of stop marker or I suppose just sort of just guess when you're in the platform. <coughs> like we got the HUD so we know when we're gonna be in. That'll do. To a nice gentle stop. And here we are, this is Peng Chi. Electro Star, engage. There we are. Cool. I'm assuming there is a gangway you can go through to the next coach. Yeah, yeah, there is. So we've got, you know, a couple of minutes here at Peng Chi. Now from here to Soomling, it's uh, only 22 kilometres, which says we know will not take us long. 10 minutes, it says, probably 6 minutes. No, probably 8 minutes, if we're early. So we're actually quite central in this um, town. Yeah, we actually... Uh, well, this is right in the town. Nice big lake here as well. Nice. Actually, the, the colours are really nice on this route. Even that looks nice. Look at the water. <laughs> Generally, it does look quite nice. <clears throat> right, back to the train in the greenhouse lovely it's, like the, it's like always like the longest a minute and a half when you're waiting for the time it's like come on come on <clears throat> oh it feels really slow Feels like we've been here for five minutes already. Right, one minute, one minute. So tempting just to leave early, but you can't on here. It's like, just get us out of here. Interesting the way the um, tail lights flash though. Back to there. Right, let's get in and get ready to depart for our last, well, 48 pass, wasn't it? So, you know, 8 minutes. We're going to get them probably maybe a bit early. 
go what 15 miles so again those brakes released so I'll save it just in case just in case okay let's go So that's what your PIS there on the side, above the doors. Right, and we're off. There we are. We're out of there. It's back up to 250. Well, still 90 actually. Is it going to go up? There you go, 250. Let's start getting that up again. i got a green light as well now. So go as fast as we can. Fifty kilometers an hour already. Here's a bit of a rocket. This train that does go pretty quick. It accelerates quite quickly. Good. Now the blue coaches let. There they are. Oh, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're up to. They're everywhere. <laughs> And it's on a massive viaduct again, just as you do. Cool. Nice. I suppose that's the thing about China. You never really see sort of the countryside, do you? Whenever China comes up, it's always about the big cities. You know, it's always Shanghai, Beijing. Um, you never really sort of see the real life countryside. Well, Microsoft, Microsoft always brings it up on the uh, Windows or whatever brings it up on the uh, picture of the day. But you don't tend really to see the, the countryside as much. As I suppose basically all of the focus is on the cities. Oh my, look at this coming out. It's quite nice to sort of see the rolling hills. They were just trying to be fancy here, weren't they? Yeah, they've got a bridge here, look at that. Right, 13 kilometres already. And we're during that, well, actually bang on 48. And this is also a standard scenario, if you haven't worked that out already. I saw there was there was a chance to do Korea, and I was like, nah. <laughs> we'll stick to standard scenarios. Otherwise, we'd probably be on about negative 5,000 points, 10,000 points by now. So I thought best to do... Uh Best to do this. Now we know we shouldn't, you know, speed too much. And add a bit of a gradient here as well. Oh, yep, six kilometers, we've got a 160 coming out. That's now on our. Uh, Little screen there on the left. Oh, double yellow as well. It would be really nice if we did spad now. Get all this far. I'll start popping that down then. 
down to 160 as that's oh well that's not click buttons it's only seven kilometers now not very far there's just another one of those fancy it is as well look coming out they got bored of doing you know just copy and paste bridges the whole way so they were like you know what let's make something fancy Quite cool on this one, isn't that? I don't know if it's just going over the same river again as it sort of meanders round. Pretty cool, though. That train was going quite slow. Well, we're now down to uh, 160, a little bit early, but. Better early than uh, oh, better safe than sorry. <coughs> Get the cruise control. What's the wiper like? There's the wiper. Flashing the single yellow. Are we coming off here? Like that. Straight on. That's it, we come into Sooning. Another sort of motorway junction of railways. Tracks everywhere. So this seems like a slightly more major station. Coming out to 45. Yeah, that's it. Probably means we're going too fast or something. Probably actually does actually, let's uh, pop that down. Oh, there is a braking curb, look, you can see it coming down. Uh, that's what it is, it probably just says, means you won't be able to start braking. We've sussed it out right at the end. A little bit, a little bit fast. Now we're all good, we're all good. It's by that signal, probably. There we are. Right, as we come into Sooning. Oh, that wasn't a bad journey, that was quite nice. I don't know, what does everyone else think? As we uh, come into Sooning. I was thinking it was going to be quite a mundane journey, but it was actually quite good. Flying over all of the uh, viaducts and basically the crazy spaghetti junction of railways. <coughs> Not too shabs. Soon, oh, is this one green? All the others been blue, but this one's green. What does, what does the green mean? <coughs> so it's like a different line. Seems like a more classic station. <coughs> so maybe you get classic trains coming in here as well, not just um, high-speed services. Well, that's the start. There we are. <coughs> Let's have a little look at the station. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. And there's, uh, there it is. All the blue coaches as well out here. Of course they are. Facing them. There, nice. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, we've got a high speed one coming through. Probably at 90 or so. There that goes. There's the guard sitting in the back cab there. <coughs> Earphones plugged in. 
So where are we on the route then? <clears throat> we are there. So it's what, probably another hour and you'd be, or another sort of 40 minutes, you'd be over at Chengdu. So we've come up from... Well, it was here, yeah, here. So we, we haven't gone that far on the route, and it's taken us 50 minutes. From there to to there. So if you're going all the, if you're doing a full line run, that's probably going to take what an hour and a half, two hours, depending on what stations are stopping at Longsheng. There's quite a few stations on this bit. Shibantin. Uh, and now we wait. Come on, it's 50 now. What's going on? I thought it was 51. 50, not 51. As it does its thing. It's like, come on. End of the scenario. I'm sure it will eventually. Probably like 10, 50, 59. Oh, there we go. Successfully finished the job. Well, that's good. Well, let's quickly have a little look at what you actually get on the route. <clears throat> if it loads us out. That's the next thing, is it going to load us out? So, career. Let's have a look at career. <clears throat> uh, career. I really hope it doesn't freeze, because that would be... That would be... Yeah, you only get three on there. Oh, that's, that's, that's the more high-speed train there. Yeah, so you've got the uh, only three on there. I need all the bits and bobs on here. So it seems you get this train on this one, but then on Korea you get that one. Um, oh, wow, look at that. 1,700 kilometres. Um, yeah, well, that that's that. Uh, hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. That was the Southwest China High Speed Rail Network. Quite a nice route. A um, couple of trains on it. Um, yeah, so it's probably worth picking up if you like your Chinese bits and bobs. Um, but that is going to be it from me. Links will be found in the usual places. Uh, I'm sure to other streams they're going to be doing, uh, the channel, whatever. Uh, thanks to Dovetail for having us on. And yeah, tune in, stay in. I'm sure there'll be yeah, another ambassador on or Dovetail after this. See you all. Uh, thanks for having me on. See you all. I've been the British Ace. See you all next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.